Hello, this is Walker Physics, 4th edition, and we are in Chapter 7. And chapter 7 is on work and kinetic energy, and this is the end of the chapter questions, and we are in question number 6. Early one October, you go to the pumpkin patch to select your Halloween pumpkin. You lift the 3.2 kilogram pumpkin to a height of 1.2 inches, then carry it 50 meters on level ground to the checkout stand. Calculate the work you do on the pumpkin as you lift it from the ground, and then how much work do you do on the pumpkin as you carry it from the field. Alright, so we're going to lift the pumpkin first. So the pumpkin used to be here, and now it's going to be here. Okay, so that distance is one point two one point two inches uh, I don't think it's one point two inches I think that's a typo I'm gonna make a guess that that's a typo one point two meters because one point two meters is three feet and if you pick it off the ground Unless you are a Tom Thumb, you're not going to lift it one inch off the ground and carry it through the thing. You're going to lift it up to your at least your waist. So I think that's 1.2 meters. Okay, I don't want to even do the conversion anyway, so let's do that. Let's use this one. 1.2 meters and carry it 50. Okay, so this is 1.2 meters. We know that work is the force times the distance. Okay. And force is weight. So this is mg times d equals work. Well, I know that the pumpkin is 3.2 times 9.81 times a distance of 1.2 meters. So when I multiply that, that gives me a... 37.7 joules, okay, looks like I have 2, 2, and 2, 2, 2, and 3, so I'm going to do 2, so this will be 38 joules, so this is a, it takes 38 joules of work to lift the pumpkin up 1.2 meters, okay, now for the easy one, to carry it 50 meters across the ground doesn't take any work at all, Mm, why? Here's gravity. This is its weight. This is its mg. And I'm going this way. This is my distance. And it's set along even ground, which means you don't go up and down. It's totally flat. And so if it's totally flat, then my force is at 90 degrees to the displacement. And remember, this is force through a distance. It's not just force multiplied by the amount of distance, but it's force that's it's a pushing of force through a distance that's that's the work. Okay, so if your force is not in the same direction as your displacement, you've done no work at all. If your force is opposite of your displacement, so if your force is going one way and you're displacing another, you're actually doing negative work. Negative work is being done on you. Okay? So that would be like a little wimpy guy on the defense of a football team trying to stop a huge linebacker okay so that that is that's what's happening you 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 would actually be doing negative work slowing him down but he'd still trample you but if it's in this case 90 degrees to the displacement then it then b would be 0 joules of work thank you